Hi everyone. In the last video, we had our form submit data to our backend API so that we can be able to create new user accounts. For example, if I signed up a user called Gendo, it create a user and then I provide an email Gendo to gmail.com, write a password, for example, and write a password, password, and password. If I submit this, we see that it's making uh, an API call to our backend and then returning for us uh, a response. So in this video, we're going to see how to create these alerts that can enable us to have such uh, notifications be displayed on our front end. So to do that, I'm simply going to come within our VS code. So I'm going to go to VS code. And within this function that submits our data, what I'm going to do is to actually create an alert every time we are uh, going to be having a successful server response. So I'm going to be making use of the alert component that comes with React Bootstrap. I'm going to head over to the React Bootstrap website. So I'm going to go to reactbootstrap.github.io and I'm going to go to components. So the first component is the alert, which we're going to use in this case. So I'm going to go just down here. So alerts have different variants that basically describe how uh, they will be in terms of color depending on what you want to portray to the user. So within here, we see the variant, this various variants, for example, a primary, secondary, success, danger, and each of these describe which kind of color is going to be displayed on the front end, just like you can see right here. So right now, what I'm going to do is to head over just down this side. So you can see that we can be able to add, to add various uh, HTML tags, for example, a paragraph, we can even be able to add the headings. So basically just like HTML. So the most Im important section that you want is this section. So basically this section shows us how to create a dismissible alert. So a, dis a dismissible alert is one that you can be able to close, just like you can see here, we can be able to close this, as well as to show it uh, given a condition being true. What I'm going to do is simply uh, copy this code and then get to use it within our our code. So I need to copy this alert and then head over to our code. So within our code, I'm going to import alert from React Bootstrap. So I'm going to just come right in here. Say I'm going to import alert. So after importing alert, what I'm going to do is to copy this alert just uh, before our sign up. Simply going to copy it within our sign up. I'm going to tidy this up so that it looks neat. So which Windows, I'm using Windows, so I'm going to just do Shift Alt and F. So it's going to format our code. Now, right now we can see that our alert statement, our alert component is basically below our sign up. So if I save this and head over to our Chrome going to see that so right now we see that set show is set to is is non defined so let's go ahead and i uh, use just the use state hook to declare that so i'm just going to come to our visual studio code and right here we have the set show uh, function that's basically to set the show uh, condition to false or to true depending on the condition uh, so i'm just going to come right in here with, within our sign up within our, our, our sign up component and then I'm going to use use state hook to set that so I'm going to say set and show and set show so I'm going to say set show so this is basically going to be for true state then by default let's set it to true that we have our our alert showing so if I save this and we head over to our front end. So I'm going to go back to our Chrome, and then we see that our alert is now being shown just below the, the sign up page. So right now we see that this alert does not show, does not close. So let's go ahead and implement some uh, uh, conditional rendering so that we can have this being displayed only if our show is set to true. So what I'll do in that case is to simply come in a VS code. And what I'll do is to to render this if show is set to false. So in React, we can use uh, conditional rendering, just like you can say uh, 
given our condition being true, do this being of uh, being false, then we render this. So in this case, what we're going to actually do is to use this syntax. So I'm going to basically pass in so if show is correct, if if show is true, then this is a condition I can just only say show. Then what I'm going to do is to actually this is going to be question mark. And if it's true, then I'll paste the alert component. So if show is true, we shall render the alert component. So just in this case, I'll render alert in the sign up page. So I'll simply put that right above here. So if it's false, actually, I'll put all of this within a React fragment on it. Just a fragment. And after I do this, then if it's false, what I'll do is to only render the H1 element. So right in here, we have that when if our show is true, we, we shall show the alert. And if it's false, we shall not show the alert. So let me save. If I head over to our Chrome, we now see that the alert is set to false. So it does not show. So what we want is that each time we sign up a user, the response from the server is displayed to us on our front end. So to do that, I'm just going to go right in here. And what I'm going to do is to set, set show to true in case our, our server has responded with the right response. So to do that, I'm just simply going to come in here. And well, for now, let's first console log the data and we see how we can access the message. I need to try to sign up uh, a user, so I'm going to say Pennywise. Sorry for Pennywise. So, <laughs> so our user is going to be Pennywise and then Pennywise at gmail.com. So Pennywise wants to use our application. So I need to provide Pennywise with a password and we're going to confirm Pennywise's password and we sign up. So right now we see that our server responds with a message which shows us that the user has been created successfully, which is an object. So basically this object has a key of message and a value of, of the user being created successfully. So that means you can be able to access the message by saying data dot message. So I'm going to go ahead to Visual Studio Code. What I'll do is to basically access the message. So in this case, what we're going to do is to just say uh, we're going to create a simple state that's going to have a server response so to do that i'm just going to use the use state hook i'm just going to come right in here and then say const so this is going to be a server a server response then we shall also have a state updata function which is going to set our server response to something so i'll say set server response and then by default it's going to be an empty string so what I'm going to do is to set the value of this empty string. So I actually use use this state to set this to an empty string. So by default, it's going to be an empty string, which we shall only update when we have our, our server response. So what I'll do is to come right in here. So right here I have um after getting our data, so right in here I can set our server response so I'll set our server response that this is going to be set server response we can set the server response to data dot message so if we want to see how this is going to work we can actually console log our server response so I mean say console log console dot log to the server response so after doing this, I'm going to simply save and let's try to sign up another user. So I'm using test users in this case. So right now we see that this is being shown. Let's try to refresh. So we see that it's being shown. So when you close it, it can be able to show now since we have uh, our, our conditional rendering working. So let's try to sign up another user. So in this case, I'm sign up. Uh, actually, let me sign up. I say Bruce Wayne, so Bruce Wayne wants to use our application. I say Bruce Wayne at gmail.com. And then actually this is going to be Bruce Wayne. And then I say Bruce Wayne. 
at gmail.com. So I can provide a password. So give a password. So let me see. So this is going to be password. Then I can provide another password. So if I sign up, see that the user Bruce Wayne has been treated, but we see no server response right now. So let's try to see what's wrong. So in this case, we check with the server. So I'm going to check what a server is showing us that the sign up has worked. However, it seems like we have a mistake in our console log. So let's try to see. So right here, if we say data dot message, it's not going to actually work. So my console log server response. So let me see. It's going to be console server response. So let me try to see. So if I console log, so I'll just simply say console dot log the data. So I'm going to try the sign up process once again. So I'm going to head over to our browser and try to sign up another user. So let me say um so let me try to say, uh, let me say uh, Rick Sanchez. So Rick Sanchez. So let's say our username is Rick Sanchez. And let's say our email is going to be uh, Rick Sanchez gmail.com. Let's say our password is going to be password. Then you put in our password. So in this case, we also going to say our password. Yes, we can see like our form validations are also working successfully. So if you're trying to sign up this user. So right now we see that our response is being console logged to our console. So for now, let's try to actually notify our 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 users by showing these alerts on the screen. So I need to head over to Visual Studio Code. What I'm going to do is to basically put our server response within our alert component. So I'm going to come and remove all this. So I'm going to remove all this. I basically put the server response right in here in our alert component. Then what I'll do is to also change our variant. So in this case, I'll say our variant is going to be uh, success. So after setting the variant to success, I'm going to save. And then I'll also set the show to true. So what I'll do is to set show to true so that our alert shows. If I set show to true, save, if I go back to our browser and try to sign up another user. So I need to first clear our terminal now. So I need to create another user. So let's say uh, OT, then let's say at gmail.com say we provide a password another password if I sign up you see that right now our alert has been shown successfully so I'm going to first correct this for now so what I'm going to do is to actually remove the heading I need to remove the heading as I remove this heading and try to, uh, to remove this, so I'll sign up another user. So let's say skipper, and then I say skipper gmail.com. So let's say uh, password. So let me correct this. So if I say password, I provide another password. I sign up. So we see that right now our our alert is showing successfully. So to correct this, I'm going to move this alert slightly above the sign up page. So what I'll do is to actually just copy this alert and move it above the sign up page. So let's try to. So right now we see that us. Our alert is being shown, and when you click on it, it will disappear. So in this video, we've been able to create alerts that can show us whether a user has been created successfully or not. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.